From trichomes.com, I'm Jared Duggins, and this is the Careers in Cannabis podcast. On this show, we will be talking with staffing agencies, cannabis companies, and seasoned traditional market executives in order to obtain a better grasp of the current employment climate and what we might be able to expect of our burgeoning cannabis industry. Today's guest joins us from one of our industry's largest MSOs. Cresco Labs has been making waves since their emergence into the cannabis markets. Consequently, while making these moves and expanding their footprint, Cresco has also come to the forefront of the conversation surrounding jobs and careers in the cannabis industry. I am joined today by Scott Wells, the Executive Vice President of Talent Acquisition for Cresco Labs. Scott, welcome to the show. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. How are you doing? How are you hanging in there? Yeah, we're doing well. I mean, you know, organizationally, we've uh, we've learned how to operate a little bit differently. I'm I'm actually proud of our organization and leadership for how we've uh, been able to adapt so quickly and how we manage our employees and treat our employees and and provide them as safe an environment to work in as possible. And you know, personally, to be honest, my wife and I picked up and left Chicago and and rented a little. Uh, a little social distance beach house in the Gulf Shore, and we've uh, been kind of holed up here for the better part of a week, and just trying to change the scenery and be able to get our work done and and uh, maintain some sanity like everybody else. Well, that is, um, it's fortunate that you're able to do it, and and also uh, recommended to anyone else who can afford the the time to get out there, especially. A, that we're all working from home in some capacity. It's, it's nice to be able to pick up your home a little bit and, and go grab a, grab a little bit of beach. Yeah. The change of scenery is nice. Definitely clears the head a little bit and uh, lets you get back and focus on, uh, on the tasks at hand. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're able to do that. Um, and thanks for checking in and, and giving us an update. I know all of our listeners, we're all in the same situation and, and uh, it's nice to have some, levity brought by people in the same situation Mm -hmm. so you know here you know on careers in cannabis we're here to talk about jobs and uh i think it's about two weeks ago cresco announced something around the neighborhood of 250 job openings uh being ready in chicago uh, or illinois in general excuse me around the chicago area Um, are those still open how many of those are left what's going on there yeah, so you know, speaking of of the pandemic, um, certain of those positions have, we've been a little bit slower to move on because we're waiting for. Um, and you're right; it's Illinois primarily, but also one location in in Philadelphia. So these would all be retail positions. Um, we're waiting for approval to open six different dispensaries: five in Illinois and one in Philadelphia. Um, and then staffing those, that would be that 250 number that you mentioned. We've probably filled about half of those roles uh, to this point. We still need to fill a handful, I'd say about 20, 25 roles in Philadelphia and then another 100, 125 roles in Illinois. And those will be filled over the course of the next, let's call it four to six weeks as we get state approval and local uh, municipal approval to actually open those those uh, dispensaries, those retail locations. So. Still quite a large number of positions to be filled, um, and those positions are all you know, posted on our website at uh, crescolabs.com in our career section. Perfect. Thank you for uh, mentioning where they can find that on an ongoing basis as well. Are there any other uh, states that Cresco is hiring in right now? Yeah, we are. We actually uh, closed on an acquisition um, really over the course of the last months as we've worked through. It's quite a big uh, uh, acquisition for us. Um, and we will have, without getting in specifics, but certainly keep your eyes open. There will be a number of positions coming in California. We'll probably start seeing positions like that for distribution, operations, things like that in the California area. And then also, you know, looking to create regional manager roles. And those will be coming over the next couple of weeks also. Well, that's a lot of expansion going on for Cresco right now and over quite a few states. And, and really, that was one of the reasons I was excited about having you on, Scott, was Cresco really is making such a large impression and creating such a large footprint in the cannabis industry as one of, I would say, the one of the dominant MSOs down here. Um, Cresco seems to be creating a lot of job opportunities. And I, I'm just thankful to have you on the show so that you could talk about what it is currently and, and how people can get involved with Cresco. Yeah, it's an exciting time for us. You know, they're obviously, um, 
you know, hurdles that uh, that we're all dealing with. And and yes, we keep turning back to the pandemic and COVID and, and the impact that it's had on our country and the world, frankly, and, you know, trying to, you know, be a leader in, 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 in the cannabis space and continuing to put our best foot forward and to give people opportunities uh, in a time where a lot of folks are obviously seeing opportunities diminish. We, we want to continue to, to be smart in our growth plans and to make really solid decisions. Um, but, you know, business has to continue. And, you know, um, in the space that we're in and, you know, fortunately, most of the states that we operate in, you know, have deemed us essential. In fact, Massachusetts is opening adult use back up, um, I believe, this week. So that'll create a few opportunities there as well that we didn't talk about. I'll need to hire some folks back in Massachusetts. But yeah, in, you know, smart decisions, you know, moving forward with our growth plans, but doing so with consideration to the, the environment that we're all in today and, and, and managing our business. And, and, you know, we're all hopeful in this industry that there's going to be a change in, in federal legality. And I think you'll see that in the way we're operating with combining some of these states uh, from a regional management perspective so that we're uh, prepared for a change that we all hope is, is around the corner. You brought up a great point in the traditional markets and well, really globally around the world right now, there's a lot of doom and gloom. There's a lot of people not being able to return to their jobs and well, not to dwell on that at all. Uh, on the flip side, does Cresco have anything fun and exciting on the horizon they'd like to share on the podcast? Yeah, I mean, we've we've had a couple of things that have, have been released lately and, and, you know, two examples in our home state of Illinois is the expansion of our Lincoln, Illinois facility where we grow and manufacture. Um, that facility has gone from 40,000 square feet uh, to about 200,000 square feet. That gave us an opportunity to, you know, add another 150 or so employees to that facility, primarily on the cultivation side of the business. And the exciting thing about that, obviously, is it means that we're we're very close to, you know, not having the product shortages that so many states have had to deal with, especially Illinois, since we went rec legal on uh, on January 1st. So that's pretty cool news. And then uh, we also recently um, were, were given the uh, go ahead for our Schaumburg, Illinois dispensary. The unique thing about that dispensary is just the physical location of it. Um, in such a high, high rent, you know, mainstream thoroughfare of, uh, you know, midtown America um, with a dispensary that will have the capacity to compete with some of the largest dispensaries in the world from a sheer volume perspective. Um, personally, I think it will be one of the largest dispensaries in the world. Obviously, that remains to be seen. But um, it's very exciting to to think that we've got a dispensary in an area like that that's going to open over the course of the next few weeks um, that will employ, you know, as many as 70 or 80 people as a part of that 250 that we talked about to kick this off. And, and you know, just to have that Sunnyside Cresco brand um, in such a prominent location, it's, uh, you know, it's fun, exciting stuff. And I, I can't wait for that store to open. Thank you again for sharing that with us. But Scott, yourself, you are the executive VP of talent acquisition and you have a story prior to cannabis. What brought you to cannabis? How'd you get in with Cresco Labs or, or was it a synonymous act? Did you get into cannabis with Cresco? No, it's a, that's a great question. And I think it's definitely the latter. Um, you know, I was always kind of a fringe cannabis user, if you will, um, really didn't have, fortunately, um, had not had any exposure really to the medical side of cannabis personally. I, I, I say fortunately because I, I just have not had family members or me personally or friends really who had conditions where, where they needed um, access to medical medical cannabis. And through some associations, folks that I'd known from from my past career, yes, this is my 25th year in talent acquisition. Um, I was a Marine before that, by the way. And through those relationships and associations, I started to learn a little bit about the industry and and the mission and and Cresco's position of trying to be or build a company that to make Cresco be the most important cannabis company in the world and to normalize and professionalize cannabis. And I started to appreciate the value of, of regulated cannabis, right? Versus what we all got in high school and college, you know, from Jimmy down the street. 
<laughs> um, or your neighbor or whatever the case may be. And, and the quality of the product and the, the, um, the steadiness of the product and, and you know, how, how frankly enjoyable regulated cannabis can be and, and the benefits from a medical perspective. And as I learned more and I, I did more homework on Cresco itself, knowing some of the founders of the company and having faith and trust in those folks as professionals, you know, when they asked me if I would be interested in helping the company grow, this is about 16, 18 months ago, you know, I really jumped at the chance and I've done a lot of really cool things in my career, big companies, small companies, startups. I've done my own thing for years and enjoyed all of them. Um, but frankly, you know, the last 16 months has been probably the high point of my 25 years in HR and talent acquisition. You know, it's exciting, the benefits to, to, to folks who need it. Uh, access to a legal product that has uh, results for folks who were, you know, maybe, you know, in the past would have had a glass of wine or a couple of beers. And now they have the ability to choose a different product for their social relaxation time and, and do it without w operating under the cover of darkness and, and safety and, and operating in the light. And I couldn't be happier with the decision that I made to come to Cresco and to enter into the cannabis industry. And what I've learned in the last 16 months is just, it, frankly, it's mind blowing to me. Um, cannabis has really become a huge part of my life. I feel like I talk about cannabis from six o'clock in the morning until I put my, put my head on the pillow at night, seven days a week. Uh, I don't know, maybe my family gets tired of hearing about it, but I love it. It's exciting. It's fun. It's challenging. It, it's all of those things wrapped in one. And, uh, you know, I couldn't be happier to be a part of the industry and a part of Cresco as well. I resonate with the speaking about cannabis from dawn till dusk and, and, and not knowing who's actually getting tired of listening to me talk about it, but hey, you know, it is, it is not only uh, the career I've chosen, but a passion <laughs> project and it's really kind of uh, nice that they've intersected for me as well. So within, within your personal journey and what you've picked up along the way since you've come into cannabis and working with Cresco, for those of our listeners that are looking to get in with Cresco, do you have any tips or suggestions for them as they're going through the hiring process with you? It's a challenge. It really is. And, and the challenge comes from the fact that there's just so much interest in the space. And fortunate for us, of course, as an organization trying to build a best in class, you know, everything from, from, from grow to distribution, supply chain, warehouse, you know, manufacturing, food production, and, and wholesale, and then you bring in retail and, and building a corporate infrastructure. You know, it's, we're, 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 we're very fortunate. Um, that there is so much interest. The, the, the challenge that creates for the, for the person on the street is the competition is stiff. I, I, you know, I mean, I, I put an uh, applicant tracking system in place here at Cresco 11 months ago, and I've had well in excess of 100,000 applicants uh, for positions at Cresco. <laughs> so, it, you know, again, the competition is fierce. And, and, you know, my advice would be to just not give up, continue to apply. If you've got to apply multiple times, apply for multiple roles, figure out a way to make your, your resume a little bit, you know, make it stand out, make it a little bit more interesting. Um, talk about what you do. What, what's your professional uh, background? What do you bring to the table? If you come from the hospitality industry and you want to work in retail, Right. Make sure that you're able to tell that story about how a good server in the hospitality industry would make a great wellness advisor or bud tender uh, because your ability to communicate and connect with your customers. Right. Tell that story. Do it brief, do it concise, but make sure that you're making that point. If you're an accountant, right, talk about how, you know, your success is as an accountant. Um, we'll get to know you and get to know your interest in cannabis, of course. Um, but in these situations and in these times with so much competition, you know, you really have to point out what value you bring to the organization, depending on the job it is that you're looking for. That's really the best advice that I can give. And fantastic advice at that, uh, you know, not only for the cannabis industry in general, but for Cresco in specific, as you mentioned, you and your company are, are reaching for the stars. And within that, all the candidates or possible candidates out there listening to the podcast, make sure you bring your A game. 100,000 people plus over the last 11 months. That is quite a few people. Right. And, and look, self-evaluation, I would love it if I, if I was able to say that, 
you know, my team of 10 recruiters was able to evaluate every one of those applicants. Um, obviously, we're not able to do that. And, and, you know, what that means is that, you know, you've got to take those that, that pop to the top, right, in order to get roles filled in a timely fashion. So just keep it up. Be persistent. You know, that's the name of the game here. Persistence always pays off. And, and on that note, Scott, I am going to thank you for your time and thank you for being a guest on the show, Careers in Cannabis. And uh, I definitely look forward to checking in with both you and Presco Labs in the future. Uh, for all our listeners who want an up-to-date list, uh, following this show, crescolabs.com is where you'll be able to find all of the current hiring positions. And again, we're talking with Scott Wells, the Executive VP of Talent Acquisition. So this is the person that knows what he's talking about when it comes to getting hired on at Cresco. Again, Scott, thank you for your time today. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. This has been great. Talk to you soon. You can follow our series, Careers in Cannabis, as well as more great shows like this one at trichomes.com. If you're a member of the cannabis community and you have a story you want to share with us, please reach out. You can reach the show via emailing careersincannabis at trichomes.com. Please take a second to subscribe to the podcast and write a review. It really helps others find the show. You can also join in the discussion with industry insiders by visiting trichomes.com and following us on all social media. For trichomes.com, I'm Jared Duggins. Be well, and thank you for listening.